Hello friends, uh, as you all are aware, we discuss graphs regularly on our channel and there is a separate playlist for that where we discuss graphs from physiology and medicine. So today's video is on one such graph. Uh, well, this graph was asked uh, in the recently concluded NEET PG exam and therefore it is very highly likely that it will be asked in the first MBBS prof exam, final exams. Let's understand the graph. Uh, the graph is depicting the ventilation perfusion relationship based on the PO2 PCO2 relation in the alveolar air. Let's see the graph. On the vertical axis, we have PCO2 in the alveolar air, partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the alveolar air. And on the vertical, on the horizontal axis, I beg your pardon, on the horizontal axis, uh, we have PO2, PO2 in the alveolar air. We got to focus on three points, A, B and C. And uh, in the exam, the question was, which point depicts pulmonary embolism? And there was one more point given, so A, B, C, D, four options. But anyways, let's focus on these three points. Uh, and which point depicts the pulmonary embolism? Let's understand the details and let's come to the answer. What is ventilation perfusion relationship? Ventilation meaning air is ventilating the alveoli. So, here is a diagrammatic representation. Air, inspired air is reaching the alveoli. That means there is ventilation. Alveoli are ventilated normally. What is perfusion? Perfusion means blood flow, blood perfusion to the alveoli. So, you can see here that as the air is ventilating the alveolus, it brings new oxygen from the atmospheric air and it will diffuse into the blood. And when we talk about the perfusion, blood flow, it is the carbon dioxide which is brought by this blood perfusion and then the carbon dioxide will diffuse in the opposite direction uh, from the blood into the alveolus. Now, if we take a sample of the alveolar air, what will be the pressures of these gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide in the alveolar air? When Ventilation and perfusion both are normal. Alveolar air PO2 will be 104 mm of Hg and the PCO2 will be 40 mm of Hg. We are assuming here that oxygen and carbon dioxide they are getting exchanged at the normal rate uh, between alveolus and blood and with that situation these are the partial pressures of oxygen and carbon dioxide, 104 PO2 and 40 PCO2. Now, let's see in the graph which point depicts this relation. Point B is depicting this relation. That is, uh, you can see here that the PCO2 is about 40 mm of Hg. On the vertical axis, we have PCO2. So, PCO2 40 and PO2 on the horizontal axis PO2, let us say in the range of 104 mm of Hg. So, point B is telling us the normal ventilation perfusion relationship because point B is where PO2 is 104 and PCO2 is 40 mm of Hg. This is normal V to Q ratio. Now, let us talk about the deviations from the normal. One uh, deviation can be V to Q ratio 0. What is the meaning of V to Q ratio 0? That means numerator will be 0. That means ventilation will be 0. So, just diagrammatic representation. There is no ventilation happening in the alveolus. That means no new air reaching the alveolus. That means no new oxygen is coming in from the atmospheric air. So, uh, that is the zero ventilation scenario. But the blood flow is there. 
blood perfume is there that means carbon dioxide is reaching the alveolus from uh, it is coming from the blood and reaching the alveolus that means carbon dioxide can diffuse from the blood into the alveolus so what will happen uh, as a result of this the pco2 in the alveolar air will rise it will increase it was 40 normally now it is rising because carbon dioxide is diffusing from the blood into the alveolus but since no new air is coming in the carbon dioxide will not get diluted that much by the new air coming in and therefore pco2 pressure will rise in the alveolar air it becomes 45 po2 is falling po2 decreases and it's almost 40 mm of hg now one would wonder why the po2 can't be zero if, if, if the air is not reaching the alveolus at all, why the PO2 shouldn't be zero? No, uh, look, first thing that uh, even the venous blood, which is uh, carrying carbon dioxide, it does have some amount of oxygen and therefore alveolus will have some amount of oxygen and therefore uh, it's partial pressure because it's a less amount. Therefore, PO2 will be uh, low but not zero it will be about 40 mm of hg so po2 40 and uh, pco2 45 it means there is no ventilation in the alveolus but blood perfusion is happening blood flow is happening so v to q ratio will be zero because ventilation is zero that is when alveolar air will have these partial pressures so let's see uh, which point is depicting this relationship. Point A shows us this particular scenario. If you look at the point A, it tells us that PCO2 on the vertical axis PCO2, it is 45 at point A. And what about PO2? Watch this vertical, uh, I mean on the horizontal axis, if you drop this vertical like this, Check the PO2, it's only 40 mm of Hg. So, this point is telling us, point A is telling us that uh, V to Q ratio is 0 at this point. Now, let's see the third scenario. Another deviation. And that deviation, of course, will be when V to Q ratio will be infinity, infinite. And when will that happen? Uh, when the denominator, that is Q, that is perfusion, will be zero. If the denominator blood flow perfusion is zero, that means V to Q ratio will be infinity. Now, when does that happen? Uh, zero blood flow. It happens in the condition of pulmonary embolism. Uh, just to give you a quick uh, recall, a uh, quick review. There is thrombus in some part of the circulation. This thrombus gets detached and then it circulates, comes in the lungs and it gets stuck somewhere in the pulmonary circulation. If the thrombus gets stuck and then that is called as pulmonary embolism, it gets stuck somewhere. That means beyond that point, there wouldn't be any blood flow. This pulmonary embolus, embolism has obstructed the blood flow completely. So, beyond that point, no blood flow. Shown uh, diagrammatically here. No blood flow is reaching the alveoli. It means what? It means now the ventilation is there normally. So, uh, uh, normal ventilation is there. That means normal air, atmospheric air and oxygen is reaching the alveolar air. But, since there is no blood flow to the alveolus, the oxygen is not able to diffuse from the alveolus into the blood. It means what? It means oxygen is simply accumulated, accumulating, piling up in the alveolar air. And it means what? PO2 in the alveolar air will rise, it will increase. So, PO2 rises and almost it goes into the range of 150 mm of Hg. That means it's not diffusing from alveolus into the blood. On the other hand, PCO2 this time will be zero in the alveolar air. Why? Now that's quite obvious. PCO2 is uh, carbon dioxide is brought by the blood 
and then it diffuses into the uh, alveolar air it diffuses into the alveolus if there is no blood flow no carbon dioxide coming here that means carbon dioxide is not going to diffuse into the alveolus that means pco2 will be zero alveolar air pco2 will be zero so this set of values is telling us v to q ratio is infinity and this is pulmonary embolism now the only thing that remains is what point on the graph is depicting this relationship the answer is point c you can see uh, point c is telling us that the po2 on the horizontal axis is almost 150 mm of hg and what about pco2 it has not gone up at all on the vertical axis on the pco2 axis that means pco2 is zero so PO2 150, PCO2 0, that means this is uh, uh, blood flow is 0, perfusion is 0 and therefore uh, the ventilation perfume ratio is infinity. Uh, this is a condition of pulmonary embolism. So this was the graph which was asked recently in the NEET VG exam and therefore very likely that it can also be asked in the first prof exams this year.